We begin with breaking news. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office has released these new pictures, hoping that these items will help them identify a woman found shot along State Road 7 in Royal Palm Beach. She was found lying on the side of the roadway just north of a Target store, and tonight she is fighting for her life. News Channel 5's Jamel Linnae is live now near the scene in Royal Palm with what we know about this woman. Jamel? Uh, I'm just north of Okeechobee Boulevard. I'm just a few hundred yards away from the Portisol subdivision. Detectives say that this woman was found lying right there across the street by that sidewalk. Uh, they describe her as a white or Hispanic woman. Detectives believe that someone has to know who this woman is as they try to figure out what happened. Deputies say that she was discovered around noon by a driver. Emergency crews rushed her to the hospital with a gunshot wound. Investigators believe she's between 40 to 60 years old. Scott Morns or Mearns sets his popcorn truck up here on this road every morning. He says that the driver panicked after seeing this woman. What I saw was a woman in a black SUV kind of frantic on the phone, like looking, like looking down the road and I guess waiting for emergency vehicles. And uh, obviously that's what was happening. Well, take a look at your screen. This is the description that detectives gave of this woman. They say, again, she's a white or Hispanic female between the ages of 40 to 60 years old. They say that she was wearing a blue uh, sweatpants and a blue sweatshirt with white sneakers. They say she's recently had surgery on both of her hips and she's missing her middle finger on her left hand. Now, we also have pictures of that jewelry that she was wearing on our website at WPTV.com. Again, detectives say if you have any information information you may recognize that jewelry you may recognize this woman or recognize that description and know who she is to contact them that's the latest here in Royal Palm Beach I'm Jamela Nay for WPTV News Channel 5